All right, everybody. Well, it is volume two time here. Lionel released this catalog yesterday. I tried to record the screencast for all of you to do my quick review of this catalog, but my I had some audio issues and actually my microphone was not working. So here we are on Saturday and we're gonna get this out. So this is gonna be a quick scan over the catalog. I'm sure you've seen some videos already or have looked through it yourself. I'm just gonna give my quick initial thoughts going through this and then I'm gonna be doing a live stream with some friends next week that'll be on one of our channels and we'll advertise for that. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first thing we have the base three here. So if you didn't order it from the volume one catalog, you have the option to do it now. Then we'll see this in every catalog moving forward. And then we get into the O scale stuff. So let's dive right in. We've got a brass hybrid challenger, which is pretty wild. So a big articulated engine that is a brass hybrid is gonna come with a hefty price tag. What does it come with? Well, we have whistle steam, which is fairly standard road uh, number specific detailing it's going to be brass and die cast obviously uh, three speaker sound system which is always nice when you get those three speakers really provides a lot of sound uh, and, and more stereo dynamic sound for a train when it's on the on your layout it will come with four digit addressing with a base three and it's going to require 072 curve so we're not seeing vision line features in this it is just a brass hybrid challenger basically and it's an early year challenger it's not like the ones you've seen from vision line already and they've offered a lot of options for this so we've got the pilot version which is pretty cool you've got greyhound which is pretty standard for up and then some normal black schemes we've got the hot dog scheme is back this is very popular for the the last release of the challengers and then we go to the l1 mikados now this is an xmth tooling We've got lots of Pensy since they ran this engine. We've got a Detroit Toledo and Ironton 317, which is an ex Pensy uh, locomotive. And these come in, if we go zoom in here, for an awesome price tag, under $1,000. And it's going to come with whistle steam. That bell does not swing, even though it looks like it does. So stack steam, whistle steam. There's road specific detailing on this also, which is great. 042 curves. You might be able to squeeze those around some smaller ones, but 21, just over 21 inches in length, and uh, those are going to be great. So definitely going to be picking up one of these, and we'll see the one that I'm going to pick up a little bit later. They brought the Greenbriars back, so we've got some Greenbriars here and some different schemes as well. And honestly, there's one coming up that I really like. We've got some with the smoke deflectors. We'll bring back some Chessy passenger cars for you, and then a wood caboose. So these are very, very nice, nine inches long. Um, you know, they're, they're very well detailed. Gonna try to pick up one of these cabooses, not the Chesapeake and Ohio one, probably a Pensy one. Now here is the Green Briar to write home about. I'm telling you, this 612, the Chessy version is awesome. The, the yellow belly Hudson uh, look to it with that paint looks awesome. If I had the money, I would be picking this. This would be the item from this catalog that I would get. Now these come in at $16.99. So they're very, that's a, that's a hefty price tag for a 484. Uh, they do come with whistle steam, but uh, that, yeah, this thing, I, I think this thing looks pretty cool. So if I was going with the fantasy scheme from this catalog. This is the one. 260 Mikados, or excuse me, 260 Moguls are back. Now the last Mogul release had a lot of issues with the gearbox. In fact, Lionel tried to buy back all of the ones that they sold and they only end up getting like 17 back. But these have a redone gearbox design. If I go to the next page here, go see the Strasburg options. And it says here, new gearbox design. So they did retool that a little bit. Now these are very small engines. The moguls are tiny. In fact, the pictures don't do it justice to, to show you just how small these are. They're only 21 inches long. They can operate on 031 curves, but the, the boilers are very, very small on these. So I think there's some, some motor detailing you might actually see from the side if you're really looking. But these are going to be sharp. I'm definitely going to be picking up the 2000s version of 89 as a Strasbourg fan. We've got some green Strasbourg passenger cars, which are coming out, which are great. MTH did these a while back, and they, I always was put off by them, to be honest, until I saw them in person, and they are pretty sharp. If we come back, we've got some Canadian National Woodside of passenger cars, if you wanted to pick up the Canadian National version of 89. We also have a couple other road names, including some Vanderbilt tenders here, especially for the Southern Pacific version, which is pretty car pretty cool, pretty cool. And no whistle steam on those. Continuing with Strasburg, we're getting number 12 caboose, so I might snag this one. And then we've got the Pequay Valley car and the various schemes that it's lived in. I will be probably snagging this one here. So this will be another great addition to my Strasburg passenger train. Let's look at some diesels. 
we have the SD40 T-2, so the tunnel motor SD40s and the tunnel motor SD40-2s. There's no big porch on the back like you'd see on just the regular SD40-2, but these are really nice diesels. The sounds in these things are always really nice. You've got some road-specific detailing on these as well from having ditch lights to not having ditch lights and uh, depending on where your headlights are located and so on. So pretty neat that they're Lionel's getting into more of those details. We have some uh, FA-2 units here, or F units. We've got um, AAs. We're going to have a super base B unit and a powered B unit option. So the AA set comes in at just under $1,100. We've got a Halloween set, which is always popular. And then what we got here, Louisville and Nashville, Erie Lackawanna. We're going to see some Pensies coming up, some Delaware and Hudson's, New York Central, and Southern Pacific. So a few different options here. F units are always classic. I, I don't have, I'm not gonna be ordering any, but they are pretty nice. And then we've got some Marine Corps and Army cars, which are pretty cool too. Let's keep going. Oh, all right, well, it wouldn't be a Lionel catalog without some SD70 ACEs. And here we've got the UP Heritage Fleet is back in the catalog. Now I already have the Rio Grande and the Mopac. I don't know if I'll be, probably won't be picking up anything else just because I'm looking at getting an L1 and a Mogul can't buy it all here are a few others including we've got some montana rail rail link veterans units and then uh, cno heritage scheme there the h1544s mm -hmm. are here we've got some monon uh, rock island rio grande with the zebra striping is pretty cool so some unique names there and then the premium sets so i really like the western maryland one's nice but the this one the cumberland valley with the uh, the L1 Mikado 520, which is at Strasburg, Vision Line boxcar, and a bump trolley. So that's a really nice set. It's at just under $1,500. I'm going to be splitting this with a friend of mine, and I'm going to be taking that locomotive so I can have 520 in my fleet. A couple, you know, scale passenger cars here, some boxcars, hobo boxcars, and 100 ton hoppers. And that's going to pretty much wrap us up into the cabooses, the N6B cabin cars. The Pensy ones are really nice. I don't know if I'm going to buy a Pensy or the Strasburg. We will just have to wait and see. But that is most of the stuff from the catalog before we get into more of the traditional O scale. So this was a quick video. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are some things that you're going to order? What, what stands out to you? Uh, you know, this is a, a different catalog, I feel like, for Lionel. It's just a different vibe to it. But definitely some things that I'll be ordering. And I'm going to be talking more about this in detail with my buddies next week. And I hope that you can join us for that. And you can ask us some questions to be part of that dialogue. So thank you all so much for watching. Happy Catalog Day, Catalog Weekend. What are you ordering? Let me know. Take care.